Good evening. This is evening prayer for Wednesday of the seventh week of Easter. This is the last week of the Easter season before our celebration of Pentecost on Sunday. Please join in all of the text that is in bold. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Come, Holy Ghost, Creator, bless, and in our hearts take up thy rest. Come with thy grace and heavenly aid to fill the hearts which thou hast made, to fill the hearts which thou hast made. O Comforter, to thee we cry, Thou heavenly gift of God most high, Thou font of life and fire of love, And sweet anointing from above, And sweet anointing from above. Your sorrow will be turned into joy. Alleluia. When the Lord delivered Zion from bondage, it seemed like a dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, on our lips there were songs. The heathens themselves said, What marvels the Lord worked for them! What marvels the Lord worked for us! Indeed, we are glad. Deliver us, O Lord, from our bondage, as streams in dry land. Those who are sowing in tears will sing when they reap. They go out, they go out full of tears, carrying seed for the sowing. They come back, they come back full of song, carrying their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Lord, you have raised us from the earth. May you let the seeds of justice, which we have sown in tears, grow and incre increase in your sight. May we reap in joy the harvest we hope for patiently. Your sorrow will be turned into joy. Alleluia. Whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. Alleluia. If the Lord does not build the house, in vain do its builders labor. If the Lord does not watch over the city, in vain does the watchman keep vigil. In vain is your earlier rising, your going later to rest. You who toil for the bread you eat, when he pours gifts on his beloved while they slumber. Truly sons are a gift from the Lord, a blessing the fruit of the womb. Indeed, the sons of youth are like arrows in the hand of a warrior. Oh, the happiness of the man who has filled his quiver with these arrows. He will have no cause for shame when he disputes with his foes in the gateways. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. You command the seed to rise, Lord God, though the farmer is unaware. Grant that those who labor for you may trust not in their own work, but in your help. Remembering that the land is brought to flower, not with human tears, but with those of your son, may the church rely only upon your gifts. Whether we live or die, we are the Lord's. Alleluia. From him, through him, and in him all things exist. Glory to him forever. Alleluia. Let us give thanks to the Lord for having made you worthy to share the lot of the saints in light. He rescued us from the power of darkness and brought us into the kingdom of his beloved Son. Through him we have redemption, the forgiveness of our sins. He is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creatures. In him everything in heaven and on earth was created, things visible and invisible. All were created through him, all were created for him. He is before all else that is. In him everything continues in being. It is he who is head of the body, the church, he who is the beginning, the firstborn of the dead, so that primacy may be his in everything. It pleased God to make absolute fullness reside in him, and by means of him, to reconcile everything in his person, both on earth and in the heavens, making peace through the blood of his cross. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. From him, through him, and in him, all things exist. Glory to him forever. Alleluia. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard, 
nor has it so much as dawned on man what God has prepared for those who love him. Yet God has revealed this wisdom to us through the Spirit. The Spirit scrutinizes all matters, even the deep things of God. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete. Alleluia, alleluia. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete. Alleluia, alleluia. He will teach you all things. Alleluia, alleluia. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the paraclete. Alleluia, alleluia. Christ will baptize you with fire and the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Christ will baptize you with fire and the Holy Spirit. Alleluia. In company with the apostles and all who have the first fruits of the Holy Spirit, let us praise God and say, Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, you raised Christ to glory in heaven. May all mankind recognize his presence in the church. Lord, hear our prayer. All Holy Father, you said of Christ, this is my beloved Son, hear him. Grant that all may hear his voice and be saved. Lord, hear our prayer. Send your spirit into the hearts of your faithful people as cleansing water and refreshing rain. Lord, hear our prayer. Send your spirit to guide the course of nature and renew life over the face of the earth. Lord, hear our prayer. We commend to your care all who have died and ask you to strengthen our hope in the resurrection to come. Lord, hear our prayer. At this time, you may pause the video and include any intercessions from your household. Gathering our prayer and praises into one, let us offer the prayer Christ himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but to deliver us from evil. Graciously grant to your church, O merciful God, that, gathered by the Holy Spirit, she may be devoted to you with all her heart and united in purity of intent. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.